in this video we'll discuss the healing of an extraction wound so uh, extraction wound heals like any other wound uh, we'll understand it through uh, different stages the first one being the immediate reaction second one being the first week second week third week and fourth week now let's discuss the immediate reaction for immediate reaction what happens is what we see is that as the tooth is removed uh, removal of tooth it is followed by blood accumulation in socket the rbcs are entrapped in fibrin meshwork now the blood vessels their ends will be sealed off now within 24 to 48 hours we'll see changes or alterations in the vascular bed what we'll see is we'll see that there will be vasodilation plus engorgement of vessels in remnants of pdl there will also be mobilization of leukocytes to immediate area around clot now one thing to remember is um first i'll tell you the surface of clot is now covered by fibrin yeah so an important note here is that if the uh, the collapse of unsupported gingival tissue into the opening part of fresh extraction wound can help us it is actually beneficial because it aids in keeping the clot in position so this is the first stage that is the immediate reaction now coming on to the second stage which is first week what happens in first week now we know that a clot has been formed and the clot is covered by fibrin now what will happen is there will occur a proliferation of the fibroblasts first proliferation of fibroblasts now uh, the clot will act as a scaffold uh for the uh, for the cells that are going to uh, aid or are associated in healing process okay now these uh, the clot will be gradually replaced by granulation tissue then what we'll see is that the granulation tissue uh, we will see that the crest which makes the alveolar bone await the crest of the alveolar bone it is making the neck or the margin of socket it will start showing osteoclastic activity osteoclastic activity 
so there will be an endothelial proliferation is seen so due to which new capillary in growth will be seen so endothelial proliferation it will signal the beginning of a capillary in growth basically angiogenesis in the pdl area okay now coming on to the next step which is there will occur blood clot organization now uh, in this the remnants of pdl will be visible but there will be no uh, evidence of osteoid formation so what we can write over here is remnants of pdl visible and the no uh, no evidence of osteoid formation now what will occur in second week in second week we will see that the blood clot which has become organized now it will uh, it, it now there will be a more capillary formation so new delicate capillaries will be formed new delicate capillaries formed then uh, the remnants which were visible here they will start degenerating degeneration of remnants of periodontal ligament then also uh, the trabeculae of osteoids will be seen uh, they will be seen extending outside the alveolus wall uh, extending outward from the wall of alveolus and then we will also see some extensive epithelial proliferation now in uh, now we might also see that uh, yeah the margin that i told here uh, the crest of the alveolar bone which forms the margin over here the osteoclastic activity had started this osteoclastic activity will become very prominent so uh, the margins of alveolar socket will show a prominent osteoclastic activity now we also because of this osteoclastic activity what we'll see is we'll see fragments of alveolar bone fragments of alveolar bone now in third week what we'll get to see in third week there will be first of all there will be maturation of granulation tissue then there will be formation of young trabeculae of osteoid or uncalcified bone around all the periphery of the wound area then we will also see remodeling of original cortical bone now the crest of the alveolar bone will be rounded off rounding off alveolar bones crest due to the osteoclastic resorption and there will occur complete epi Thelization. Now, in the last stage, that is the fourth week, which is quite important because most of the work has been done. What we will see is there will be this is the final stage, okay? So, the fourth week. This is usually considered as the final stage of healing. In this stage, there will be continued deposition. remodeling resorption 
filling of alveolar socket now an important thing to note here is what you'll see is during the early weeks if you take a radiograph so in the radiographic findings what you'll see is it will appear to be radiolucent but around four uh, four to six or six to eight weeks what we'll see is it will appear as radio dense but uh, this still will be distinguishable from the older bone for as long as four to six months that is the new bone and adjacent bone is distinguishable adjacent old bone is distinguishable till four to six months now after this uh, there will be healing now in the next video we'll discuss a very important topic which is the complications of healing of extraction bones thank you